loads of goodness. There you go. Fresh shrimp at Jim's Pier. <laughs> Get you some. Okay, who's gonna throw the net? You. Me? Yeah, I'm gonna video. Oh, that'd be, that'd make good video. Oh yeah, my yeah. God. You guys want me to throw the net? That'll make some funny TV. Yeah. That'll be the first time I throw a net. Okay, I'll throw the net. But you can't make fun of me. Oh, we're gonna make fun of you, Vicky. What? I'm gonna make fun of you. <laughs> that our sizzle chick that's on YouTube and yeah. TikTok goes like a. Well, she's in Florida. She goes like a. Our sizzle chick. Who's the sizzle chick? Who's the sizzle chick? <laughs> Who's the sizzle chick? Show you how to do it. Here, why, why don't you catch some bait first, and then I'll try it. <laughs> so I, I go like this, and then and boom, yeah, let it go. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. You are. <laughs> with us and enjoy the great outdoors in the state of Texas. Texas Outdoor Lifestyles, brought to you by Lone Star National Bank, the city of South Padre Island, Texas, Ron Hoover RV and Marine Center, Mayak Boats, Jim's Pier, Danny's Pawn Shop, Point Blank Sporting Goods, Pro Valley Foods, and Select Properties. Texas Outdoor Lifestyles. It's not just a hobby, it's a lifestyle. So now we're trying to catch a skippy, right? Yeah, that's the idea. And then we're gonna go try to catch a shore. <laughs> Get him, Vicky! Dude, why isn't this reeling? I, I feel like I'm on your boat. Got South Hunter Island on the background? Yes. What are you doing with That's a big old awesome. reel like that? You got a redfish on there? We're right? catching oh. sharks. Oh. oh. I thought all you caught was redfish. Well, that's all. Awesome. I think I think Ruben can catch. I think Ruben can catch redfish and sharks. Oh. Shoot. I was listening to fish stories. Yeah. Just hanging around in my in my sea view. Yeah. Or my sea rider, not my sea rider. What's a sea rider? <laughs> my, my easy rider. The chair that I sit in. Listening go to, fast, listening to fast, a bunch of lies, and then the reel went that's down. That's a rider right there. <laughs> the, the easy rider. My reel. My reel is vintage. <laughs> I have a but look vintage, at that handle. That's an awesome handle. I have a vintage reel. Just like I have trusty rusty. I can see him. I'm Vicki Chrysler Inojosa with Texas Outdoor Lifestyles, and I want to tell you a little bit about Danny's Pawn Shop and Sporting Goods. 
Did you know that you could pawn, sell, or even upgrade your guns here? They even have reloading supplies. This isn't your grandpa's pawn shop. They have high-end jewelry, awesome Rolexes that I've bought. They even have a diamond grader on staff. Not only can you find your guns, scopes, accessories, but the staff is very helpful and patient. So come on down to Danny's Pawn Shop, downtown McAllen, and be sure to tell Danny that I said to get you some. Ron Hoover RV and Marine and Donna wants to thank the Valley for making us the largest boat and RV dealer in Texas. More and more people in the Valley are learning that for selection, price, and financing for any credit rating, Ron Hoover RV and Marine and Donna. We sell family fun. Fish here. Ain't no fish here. He's close. He's close, Robert. What kind of fish do you think? I think it's a shark, probably about five footer, but let's, let's see. I don't know if it's a stingray or a shark. I don't think it's a stingray. It doesn't feel like a stingray. Oh! Ah! Yeah. Oh! There you go. Yeah, he's close. He's right there. He's close. Oh! He's going to be interesting. that short later, dude. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, Toruman, tell me what kind of fish you think that is. That's a trout. I think it's a saltwater fish. Saltwater fish? Yes, it, it may be a big speckled trout. It feels like a shark. What did it eat anyway? What did it eat? Croker. It ain't a croaker about this big. We've got 80 pound line on this Shimano reel right here. And uh, braid. So it's got several miles of line on it all the line. But tell me, all... tell me you got a you got a short, short uh, leader. Short leader because it's not that deep here. We put a balloon on it. 400 pound mono. 400 pound mono in a circle hook. He's got to get accustomed to the sound of the engine and tires. So you worked out, Vicky? What? Legs? You did legs this week? Yes! <laughs> I did! My son already was getting me ready for, for, for this. For shark fishing? Yes! Here. Put your back into it. Here, Vicky. Sit down. Uh. There you go. Here, what are we going to do? Oh! oh. Let's catch it. Let's catch it first. Yeah, let's catch it first and then let's talk. Because that's a pretty big fish with SPI in the background. <laughs> Tell, me about that. Tell me about that. Well, we've caught sharks here before, and we haven't really had a shark show out here. We only had it on the on the beach. So this is a couple of tries, right? And we finally hooked one. Right in front of the building. Look at that, look at that. So when I see people in tubes, I'm thinking, oh my goodness. They only knew that there was a lot of sharks out here. Or wave fishing. <laughs> or wave fishing. Yeah. Well, I was wave fishing right in front of those buildings oh. right over here and I had a shark come and take my stringer. Hey Matt, what kind of shark do you think that is? If, it's a, if it is a shark, it's going to be a black tip or a spinner. Only way to tell is how they're fins are. Watch out, watch out. Oh. Oh. Okay, guys. We're on our 25 and a half foot Mayak with Ron Hoover. You guys want a 25 and a half foot Mayak? You need to go see Ron Hoover. Jerry Santana. This boat is super roomy to catch these sharks on. <laughs> As y'all can say, it's taking me all around. Nice and roomy. God, we bought the fighting chair, the fighting <laughs> belt, and the glove. I know. The glove. <laughs> Prepared. Thank goodness. The 99 cent glove. God. Hey man, these are the best. I've had some fancy ones and they don't work. These work. <laughs> Five pounders don't count. <laughs> Stingray? Yeah, 100 pounders. The ones, let's, see, let's, see, let's see what this is. They haven't even seen it yet. I haven't even seen it yet. I, I'm not seeing the head thrashing like you would see from a shark. Let's see. 
normally when they get here, they come up and you can kind of see them. And he's staying down. It may be a big old stingray. But that's, we'll, we'll find out. I see leader. I see leader. Back up. Back up. Awfully stingray, dude. Yeah, honestly, I think it's a stingray now. It can't be, I don't think it's a shark. It's a stingray. That's a big one, though. Yeah, definitely. Several stingray when we were croaker fishing on trout rods, 12 pound, 12 pound fast, little leader. Had them on for an hour, hour plus. Now, this fish has met its match with Vicky Lynn Chrysler. You know what's up? And 80 pound line. So I think it's staying down. The shark, when they get close to the boat, you, they tend to come up and you see them. And I haven't seen this fish, but this is going to be a big fish. Yeah, it's a big it, it's going to be a, a, a big one. Fighting up and down. And we're trying to, we're, we're ideally what you want to do is try to, they want to go and lay down. So we're in shallow water. We want to fight them up and down, get that hook bothering them, get them to swim, get them tired. And we're fixing to see something. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be uh, 60, 70. We've seen the leader twice, but no fish. I had the leader on my hand. So it's a caught fish, but we don't know what it is. Yeah. And see how it's just sitting down? And I have no more strength to pump. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's a stingray. Yeah. All right, you God. Stay here. Damn. He's a big one. Oh, holy <laughs> crap. Mayak Boats, the luxury boat on the water. Point Blank Sporting Goods. They're the experts you gotta talk to before your next big hunt. The largest selection of hunting bows in the valley, outdoor accessories, plus hunting and self-defense weapons. Not to mention a huge gun range and archery range. Come on into Point Blank Sporting Goods and be sure to tell them that I said to get you some! It's got a weapon. That's a big one. You gotta move. Oh my God. That's a big one, guys. Get you some! Let me see a knife. Make him safe. Make him safe. What do you mean, make him safe, man? <laughs> I'm gonna cut that barb off. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna hold it for you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Don't hurt yourself, man. Hold on. Hold on, I'll help. Done deal. Safe? Man, look at that sword. <laughs> That's a trophy. So now he's harmless. Yep. Yep. So okay. the, this, uh, this thing Good, Give me a little measurement, Matt. Stingray standards. The biggest one that we caught, Robert, Barely. back when Jim's had a, a, a scale, weighed 165. It's about twice the size of this one. About twice the size of this one. But this is it's a big fish. This big is a, fish. a big old Czechos. 37, 37 inches by 37 inches. A little bit longer. In, Pretty much 37 inches by 37 inches, and it's probably 10 inches high. Wow. It's a big fish. Give me a guess. I'm gonna say 80 pounds. 80 pounds. Yeah, he's heavy. Yeah, it's around 80. 
Let me see that hook set. Let me see that hook set. Perfect. Right where the circle is supposed to go. I felt sorry for the dude who hooked him before. There's no <laughs> way he was going to catch that fish. Wait, let me see. It's again, fishing for croaker. The croaker dies. It's on the bottom, and these big guys come eating. That was in him. There you some, go. Some poor dude thought he had a monster redfish trot on. <laughs> Ended up being just a stingray. So they don't have any teeth. But his lips here are, I wish you could feel it. They're, they're rough. It's a really cool fish. Tell me about the palatability. Oh, they're, they're, they're delicious. If we look at this fish, you got, this is his intestines right here. These are his innards. All of this is perfectly edible meat. It's actually quite delicious. People consider it to be like scallops, like false scallops. So what you do, you clean it like you would a flounder. You're gonna take that knife, come along here, and there's actually two sections of it. You got the top and then the bottom. So you go ahead and clean it up, and then pull the skin off, and you got yourself some pretty good eating. I wouldn't eat the smaller ones, and I would only eat these southern stingrays. I wouldn't eat cow nose or, or butterflies. But these southerns are really delicious. And we'll probably have 10, we'll probably have 10 pounds of meat or more out of this guy. Awesome. Man, get he's you heavy. Some. Yeah, get you some. His <laughs> eyes are cool, man. So they, if you touch them, they go inside of his head. You see that? He uses, he does that so he can hide better. So his, uh, the fish don't see his eyes, so he'll suck them inside of his head. So the shark doesn't eat him? Exactly. <laughs> so he is almost exactly 37 inches. From 37 his... inches, the body. And then the tail. His tail is usually tail. one and a quarter times his body. Oh, yeah. 37. So 37. Oh, he got hurt. 37 and 10. 84 inches. 84 inches. Yeah, that's the size of a bluefin. 84 wicked inches. tuna. That's wicked tuna. So, you'll catch these things in the early summer and they'll be full of babies they actually it's, it's it's actually a member of the shark family so they give live birth it's one of the few few fish that actually give live birth so you can fill the belly and you'll fill you'll fill babies moving around and there's none in there right now but look she's already getting all sunburned it's a cool fish man good job thanks. get you some well thank you thank you for your help man Woo. Ruben, you're the bomb Get you some. Get you some. Robert? Woo! Robert Capitan and our cameraman today. <laughs> When you bank with Lone Star National Bank, you're actually investing in your community. You see, our customers have made us one of the largest community banks in Texas, which means we don't ship your money to New York. Instead, we invest in our community. We invest in your future and in thousands of small businesses. Together. We do what the little banks can't and the big banks won't. Lone Star National Bank, the Valley's Bank. Okay guys, well, tell me about the day because I was asleep in my, in my Easy Rider all day until we got hooked up. So, well, we, started, we started the day trying to go catch some black drum. We got some shrimp and... Struggled doing that, couldn't get into them. Y'all couldn't catch any shrimp? Couldn't help, we couldn't catch the black drum. We bought the shrimp. But, uh, so we decided to come catch a shark and we, so we went to go catch skipjack. Couldn't catch a skipjack. But I was able to throw the cast net and catch a couple of uh, yellow perch and Ruben caught a uh, 
big croaker while we were uh, drum fishing. Brought it over here hoping for a shark, and this guy bit us. Yeah. But he took a fish about 10 inches? Yeah, about 10 inches. I mean, he ate it whole, like nothing. Like nothing. And I thought it was a shark, but no. It started feeling like, feeling like a stingray at the end. So anyway, thanks Ruben. It's been a couple of tries trying to get a stingray or a shark, and we finally hit one. That wasn't it's, on the boat, I guess. I guess so. Tell, tell us, tell us about so. the jewelry he had in him. Oh, yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah. Well, where so, is it? So, well, it's sitting over there. It's a little bitty hook. We had... Somebody was... was somebody was shrimp probably... Shrimp fishing. Shrimp fishing or... Croaker whatever. fishing. There it is. But croaker they, fishing. They've already seen that. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't know croaker. Yeah, that's shrimp. Somebody was throwing shrimp somebody and he ate it. Somebody was throwing shrimp and he ate it. Probably on 10-pound line. And... They got ripped off. Hold yeah. on. Couldn't couldn't handle him. No they way. Thought, they thought he was probably had a no monster red fish. This is what he needed. Yeah. <laughs> Big difference. Look at that guy. Big difference. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, we're going to go fillet him. And um, we're going to go to one of our wonderful restaurants at SPI. So what do we always say? Texas Get outdoor your lifestyle. Get, Get your soul. Woo! <laughs>
And then you just set it up. Oh, wow. Right there, right there. That's cool. And we kind of, so you got a no bone, a no bone, uh, no bone stuff flounder. Some of our roasted red potatoes, Cajun style. And then we'll put that stuff flounder right on the side of everything. Damn. Then I push me a little pocket and that stuffing. And I go ahead and put that sauce right in there. All those crawfish and mushrooms. I mean, we get a little bit of everything, and, and they're so delicious. Most people do. The, yeah. the problem I see is a lot of people bring in too much fish for their... Mm. Oh, yeah. You know, they need to keep some in the freezer because mm -hmm. the average person is not going to eat a pound of fish. Like you, I say a half pound per person. That's if you're not going to order appetizers. If you're going to order appetizers, you need to go less than that per person. So, uh, like I was telling you earlier, you get a four-pound flounder, by the time I stuff it with like a pound of stuffing, mm -hmm. I mean, that can feed a... A family of six, mm. you know. So this is a little, this is a little boy. This is a one person, you know. Maybe me and my wife, but oh man, let's go. Cool. Uh, this time of year, I got live crawfish. Mm -hmm. I got um, fresh oysters. Which is this time of year? We are in kind of the winter season. Mm -hmm. So January, February. Winter, spring. Yeah, December and November. We also get we start getting a lot of drum in. We get a lot of flounder in. Uh, we get a lot of, like, to tell you the truth, it's crazy that in the summertime, of course, everybody wants seafood. Mm -hmm. But our best seafood is probably the fall and the winter. And we actually have drumming year round. We have our, our drum guy, Morgan, Morgan Irvin, and he brings us in fresh drum every week. So, wow. Well, that's good. Well, thanks for having us again. And hey, if you guys want to come try out these delicious dishes, Daddy's is the place to be. What do we say? Come get you some. Get you some. Get you some. <laughs>